This morning, I want you to look at your neighbor and I want you to tell your neighbor, there is something on the inside. Moving on the outside that brought a change in my life. The Lord spoke to me about this message because I had a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a little bit with you about the caterpillar to a butterfly. And as I was looking at this butterfly, God gave me a word about transformation. As the caterpillar was going about, it was eating everything. The caterpillar was eating all the leaves and engorging itself with leaves. Engorge. Engorge means to swallow and eat and eat until you're full and your stomach is engorged. I looked at this caterpillar and how he was eating. And the Lord spoke to me about transformation. A lot of times we want to change and we want to transform into the image of God, transform into the way that he wants us to be, but there's no hunger and no thirst for righteousness. So many times I hear people say, I want to change. I want to stop doing what I'm doing. I want to stop saying what, what I'm saying. I want to stop living the way I'm living. But without a hunger, there can be no change. Your hunger is what's going to bring you to that place of change. Have anybody in here wanted something so bad enough that you'll do anything to do it, to get it? You'll risk everything to get it. I don't know about you, but when I wanted to change, I risked friends, family, and popularity. I, there was a risk that I had to take. I had to risk losing something in order for me to metamorph into this new creature. A new way of talking, a new way of acting, a new way of thinking, a new way of living. A refresher. I had to risk something. So now a change will not come about in your life unless you are hungry, you are hunger and thirst for righteousness. When the caterpillar was hungry, the caterpillar, you have to be hungry to eat. So as I'm watching this caterpillar eating, 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 and it's swelling up and it's getting big, getting big, get big. And the word of God said that, that he that hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. And he filled himself. I watched how this caterpillar hung upside down. The caterpillar went off somewhere by itself. And then it hung upside down. And then this caterpillar began to spin. He spin round and round and round. It began to create like a, 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 a crest or a cluster around him. Or some people call it a cocoon around him. It created a whole nother egg. And as I was looking like an egg, and as I was looking at this caterpillar, see, there's something that happens to you when you want to change. When you want to change, you start feeding yourself the word of God. You start eating and gorging on the word of God. You start finding yourself. You praying more. You seeking God more. And then guess what else happens? You steal away. That stealing away part of you, you get away from everybody who is negative around you. You, you, you get away from, from unbelievers and naysayers. You get away from people that, that, that's hating on you and trying to hold you back. You steal away and you deal with people saying stuff like this. You think you better than us. You, you think you know better than us. Oh, you've changed something. You're not the same. You're trying to act brand new. But you're not really trying to act brand new. You are changing. Oh, God. I, I'm not supposed to be preaching yet. Yes, God. Yes. You're not acting brand new. You're changing. You notice that this part of your life is not as good as the part where you can fly like a butterfly. You spend so much time crawling on the ground, crawling around, eating grubs. You can't even move as fast as you want because you're around so many people that don't want to move fast either. So the, the caterpillar or the grub 
goes and steals away. It steals away and then it hangs upside down and it creates a cocoon. And you need to understand what happens to the butterfly then. The butterfly creates an enzyme on the inside of the cocoon that starts digesting itself. Now the Lord showed me this cocoon and he said, now here is the dying part. And this is what happens when you see a change coming. Your flesh starts dying. You notice that the desires that you used to have, even though you still got some today, can I be real about it? But you notice the strong desires that you had, you see those desires actually falling away. Or you, you actually feel like now I'm kind of, I'm stronger than the desires that I used to have. The desires you find yourself your spirit man is now stronger than the desires that you used to have to where some stuff you couldn't take it and you couldn't stand it, you could not bear it. Now you have authority over it. Now you're willing to say no. Now you say I can't go. Now you say this is not for me. Now you say this is a good thing but it ain't a God thing. Yeah. 